Hello and welcome, I'm Tyler, and I wanna to talk to you about our top picks in golf sunglasses of 2023. Yes, it's a little bit early. We do still have some new additions to some lineups, and this can be a little tough to be honest with you because with golf, it isn't such a sweatable sport, is that even right? Not everyone wants a super sporty frame. Some people want a good kind of athleisure frame, a little more lifestyle, something that looks a little more casual and still functions well, obviously, for the sport as well as for your light conditions. And so I kind of have a good spread here, I think, and hopefully there is gonna be something that you find to be perfect for you. Let's get into it. First of all, we have our very favorite, this is the Sport RX Huxon. Yes, you heard that right, Sport RX, because we made, designed, manufactured this frame and all of our optical acumen, all of our experience, knowing what is best in frames for sports, really just across the board, is going into this frame, went into this frame. Uh, not only is it an awesome frame in general, it's also a little more eco-friendly. We're using an eco-friendly plant-based resin uh, just to be a little more sustainable. Of course, you're gonna have all the grip. We have grip in the nose, we have grip in the temple, and that's a hydrophilic grip, which means that as you sweat, as it gets wet, it actually grips even better. And it's right where you need it without being too overwhelming. It's gonna keep this frame on your face. Really holds its shape well, thanks to that material. Uh, uh, kind of a double-edged sword there where it isn't going to go out of adjustment even on a super hot day, uh, even if you, which by the way, I don't recommend doing, leave them in your car. Uh, but at the same time, it means that if they don't fit you well off the wall, they're not gonna adjust too well, a little bit, but not too well. So this coming in at an SFW of 136 millimeters is a really good medium to large, kind of on the larger end of the spectrum frame. Obviously a really simple, straightforward rectangular shape. The lens I recommend, if you're getting them in Plano, which is to say non-prescription, we have a really good lens called Rose Inferno. That's new to us and it's awesome for golf. This is a six base, so it's obviously a little more casual, a little more athleisure, really good on the course, really good uh, at the bar afterward as well. If you get them in prescription, by the way, which is kind of our specialty here, uh, the lens that's mounted in this frame right now is called the Birdie Lens. That's another lens that we came up with that we designed with golf in mind. Okay. And next up, we have a Nike. This is the Show X3. It's made quite a few best of lists with us because it's a really solid, much more sporty, obviously, design. Uh, Nike definitely doesn't hold anything back. It is a much more substantially feeling frame than really anything else on this table. So if you like something that feels like it has substance, if it feels like it's super durable, the X3 is an awesome choice. So it's a semi-rimless design, which also means it's interchangeable. So you can get multiple sets of lenses for the one frame chassis and swap them out as needed. Perhaps golf isn't your only sport. Maybe you're also into cycling and that definitely uh, goes for a different lens the the conditions that you ride in the the terrain is different so you want different colors to be enhanced or turned down and so a better lens for each individual sport you're going to be able to have with just the one frame chassis here some of the standout features that you get aside from that is you have some venting in the brow pad here which is really nice it means it's going to cut down on potential fogging you also have a good straight back temple design which means it's a little more helmet compatible it's a little bit shorter obviously as well you do have some adjustability here in the temple not 100% like 360 adjustability, but definitely enough to make them fit really, really comfortably. You also have this floating nose bridge design, which I've said many times uh, is not perfect for every nose bridge. So just keep in mind, if you've ever had issues with bridge fit in the past, something to be aware of. It's a really good design for sure, especially in theory because it's floating. The reason it's floating is so that it absorbs a little more impact, kind of allows the, the frame to float a little more independently from the nose bridge. It's a little bit thinner, which can help with venting and again, minimize fogging, but it does sit on your nose. So you do kind of block those vent channels a little bit, but 
it's a really good design overall. Uh, solid style, I would recommend the field tint. This doesn't come in their coarse tint, uh, but the field tint is a really, really good option, especially for golf. This has an SFW of 135 millimeters, which is in that medium to large range at the top end of what we consider medium. Next up, we have the Half Jacket 2.0 XL, one of our longtime favorites, definitely not new on the scene, but still top of class. This is is obviously made by Oakley. You're gonna to get tons of grip all over this, grip in the nose, grip in the temple, and it's Oakley's unobtainium grip, which again is that hydrophilic material. As it gets wet, as you sweat, it grips even better. Their lens is amazing, both available in prescription and non-prescription. The Prism Golf lens is what I recommend, super straightforward. There's also a Prism Dark Golf if you are in uh, conditions like we are here in sunny San Diego. But I have some uh, much more avid golfer friends uh, than myself who actually still prefer the Prism Golf over Dart Golf, even on crazy sunny days. Those are the types of people who are going to go out with no sunglasses at all, typically, so, uh, golfing regardless of the conditions. If that's the type of person you are, I'd recommend checking out the Prism Golf. It still lets a good amount of light through, but it gives you crazy color enhancement, which is awesome. An eight base with an SFW of 132 millimeters. This will be a good, uh, pretty solid medium maybe even small to medium is what this guy fits. And next up, we have another Nike. This is the Nike Victory. I love this because this is a style that is uh, that Nike designed with women in mind. There are women golfers. Did you know that? Of course you did. Well, the Victory is a little more aimed at uh, a women's fit, even though it's not terribly small. I'll get into the fit in just a moment. One of the first things you'll notice when you pick up this frame is that it is crazy lightweight, very, very lightweight. Uh, their material is a flexible plastic, and so it definitely maintains its shape really well. You do have some adjustability that's uh, relatively minimal, but I think with the way this frame is designed and how low profile it is, the chances of you needing to adjust it are very minimal. Really big lens, nice eight base wrap, also semi rimless. So you can get this in prescription. Something to note, it can't directly in the frame take a super strong prescription. There are some limitations there, uh, but what's awesome is that Nike designed this guy right here. This is a prescription insert. So for prescription wear, and you have more than a minor prescription, this is going to be able to handle it. It is awesome, uh, and it fits really securely, really elegantly in this frame. The lens that I recommend from Nike is the coarse tint, like I mentioned earlier, uh, which is available in the Victory. This actually, right Right here I am uh, holding is the road tint, but I did get an example of the Victory Elite, which is another cool frame that's effectively the same frame as you get in the Victory, except for it's a shield design. And so this also does work with that same insert, which is really cool. And this has that coarse tint, both available in the coarse tint. I just couldn't get the sample with the coarse tint in the standard Victory. The SFW on the Victory is 133 millimeters, which again is a really solid medium, but it's more of a large in a women's fit. So uh, by the way, I say designed with women in mind, they're not exclusionary, they are inclusive. And so if you're a man, you tend to like the uh, this look, awesome. They will fit you uh, if you are a pretty solid medium fit. Next up, a, a frame that makes our best of golf list every year, it's the Maui Jim Hoa Kipa. Again, first thing you'll notice with this is how crazy lightweight it is. You do have that really flexible plastic material here, uh, and it is polarized. The lenses are polarized, so it's a little bit contentious. It can get a little contentious because typically we don't recommend polarized lenses for golfing because there is the potential that it could mess with your depth perception, but with Maui Jim and why it's so common to see Maui Jim on the golf course uh, is because of the quality of their polarizing filters. It is really, really good. And we get reports of uh, the vast majority of people wearing their lenses that it is not an issue at all when it comes to depth perception. Really cool design. As you can see here, it's rimless. In the non-prescription, as you get it here, you will get a bar on the top here, it's for a little more structural integrity. When you get them in prescription, actually, 
it, the bar is gone. So it is completely rimless. It is a drilled rimless, which means that the frame is held onto the, the lenses through drill holes and screws. And so super secure, really solid, crazy, crazy lightweight and an awesome frame. And as I mentioned uh, with that, there is a difference between the non-prescription and the prescription. If you happen to have this frame already in non-prescription and you need it in prescription, unfortunately, we can't get you uh, lenses for your existing frame because it is a different frame because you lose that bar on the top. Just a little side note. It seems to come up a fair amount, so I decided to bring it up. An eight base here when it comes to SFW, so the fit is 134 millimeters, which again, really solid medium, kind of one size fits most. Uh, the next up, we have a Rudy Project. Rudy Project is a lot more well known in the cycling world, but they've been coming out with some really cool athleisure styles. And so this is a really good style for somebody looking for something that isn't too sporty, but works really, really well for golf. This has a huge lens. This is is actually new in their catalog, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, it's a six base. It's called the Light Flow A. Should have mentioned that earlier, but it's awesome. You have grip in the nose, you have grip in the temples, and you have all pretty well fully adjustable temple tips here with uh, fully lined, fully wrapped in grip, which is gonna stand up to a full day of golf no matter how much you're sweating. And you can hook it behind the ear if that's more comfortable. You can make it more of a straight temple design if that's more comfortable, whatever works best for you. That's awesome. Uh, and the nose pads, the only thing that I'm a little bummed about with this is that the nose pads aren't fully adjustable, but you do have a little bit of flex in here. You have a little bit of give, and so I think that'll make them that much more comfortable. And this grip material is great. Like I mentioned, a six base. The lens that I recommend in the Rudy Project catalog for golf is their multi-laser red. You're gonna get really good contrast enhancement. It's gonna be easier to spot and track the ball. Really, really awesome style here, and we're excited about how this guy does. This is in the uh, sizing range, an SFW of 134, yet again. And when we tried this on, uh, I tend to be more on the small to medium side of the, the fit range. Rob is a little more on the large end, maybe even sometimes extra large. These fit him slightly small, and they fit me slightly big, which is interesting. So really, really good, I think, one size fits most style, I'd be, I think you'd be hard pressed to find that this doesn't fit you well. And I realized I didn't mention my pick in lenses for the Hoakipa is their Maui Rose lens. Uh, that's an awesome pick and that you won't go wrong with for sure. Last but certainly not least, we have 100% on the scene. And this is again, another good athleisure style, really straightforward design. This is called the Blake. Uh, it is an awesome, it's an awesome style. I've been, it's been around for a little while. I've been liking it ever since it first came out. Again, you have grip on the temple, uh, on the inside embedded, a little bit of a textured design in there, which is only gonna help it grip that much better. And then some embedded grip pieces in the nose bridge. Uh, again, it's one of those materials that, that maintains its shape really, really well, uh, which again is great as long as it fits you well. Uh, if you do need adjustments, it's gonna be a little tougher, but this again is a pretty good one size fits most with a six base and an SFW of 135 millimeters, uh, that medium to large range uh, on the upper end, the larger end of medium. And the lens I recommend for this one is the Hyper Crimson Silver Mirror, that hyper contrast, that hyper lens tech gives you that contrast enhancement that really helps a lot during golf. Another one that is actually good is the Hyper Iceberg Blue Mirror. It's another good option. That hyper tech is, is really pretty awesome and you can't go wrong with it. So there you go. This is the lineup. I hope you now have a good contender for the next best pair for you for golf this year. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful. If so, throw us a like, cause that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. And also if you're looking for more content to consume like we all are these days, you should check us out on our social media outlets. We're available on all of them and we have good stuff there, which I think you'll like. So check us out.